Hi, good morning. How are you? I am Teacher Josie, your guide in learning the simple machines in Science 6. Part 3, Week 6. Developed by Ludivina Guerrero. Now, bring out your modules, paper, in bold pen, and let's start the day now. We will go now with what I know. Before we go to our lesson, let us determine how much you know more about simple machines. Read and answer the questions carefully and choose the letter of the best answer by writing before the number on the space provided for. You are given 5 seconds for each question. Number 1. Which of these is used to raise and lower the flag? A. Lever B. Pull C. Pulley D. Ram The answer is C. Number 2. The doorknob is an example of what simple machine? A. Pulley B. Screw C. Wage D. Wheel in axle The answer is D. Number 3 questions what type of a lever is a wheel in axle? A. First class lever B. Second class lever C. Third class lever D. Fourth class lever The answer is A. Number 4 question which of these is not an inclined plane? A. Egg beater B. Rump C. Slide D. Stairs The answer is A. Number 5 question. Which of these is not a wheel in axle? A. K in paper clip. B. Bicycle in wine glass. C. Grinders in capstan. D. Doorknob in steering wheel. The answer is A. We will go now to what's in. In your previous module, you learn how sound, heat, light, and electricity can be transformed. In this module, you will learn how to manipulate simple machines to describe their characteristics and uses. But before we go to our new lesson, let us find out first what simple machines are. Simple machines are tools or any devices that helps you do work. Or anything that help you do work with less effort. You may not think that scissors, spoons, fork, Nails, thumbtacks, slide, pulley, and many others make our work easier. Simple machines are tools used to change the size or the direction of the force. There are six kinds of simple machines. Each kind of simple machine 
is described herein. Number one, liver. Liver, it is a bar that turns or pivots on a first point called fulcrum. Number two, wheel in axle. Wheel in axle, it is a device in which a small wheel is attached at the center of a large wheel. Number three, pulley. Pulley, it is a device consisting of a rope that passes over a groove wheel. Number four, inclined plane. Inclined plane, it is a ramp or a slope that reduces the forces you need to exert in lifting something. Number five, which? Which? It is an inclined plane that uses the sharp narrow end to cut through a material. Number six is a screw. A screw, it is an inclined plane wound around a post. There are parts of simple machines. Number one is effort. Effort, it is a force applied to a machine. Next part is the resistance. Resistance, it is the object to be moved. And the third part is the fulcrum. Fulcrum, it is a pivot point. Name at least five simple machines found in your home. Here are the answer. Knife, wheelbarrow, screw, pulley, tong. How do you use each of these simple machines? Knife used to cut object. Number two, wheelbarrow used to carry objects. Three, screwdriver. Tighten and loosen screw. Four, pulley. Used to pull or carry heavy objects. Five, tongue. To pick food. go now with what is it. You're going to learn how simple machine works. A lever. A lever is a bar that is free to rotate around a point. The point where it rotates is called the fulcrum. Every lever has two arms. The resistance arm and the effort arm. The resistance arm is the distance from the fulcrum to the resistance force. The effort arm is the distance from the fulcrum to the effort force. The next is the inclined plane. Inclined plane is a sloping surface. The ramp is an inclined plane which is used to move objects or things from one end to a higher end. Next is a pulley. A pulley is a wheel that has a rope or cord passing over it. The wheel of the pulley has a groove around its edge into which the rope fits. 
The simplest type of pulley is the fixed pulley. This device is used to change the direction of the force but it does not increase force. Its mechanical advantage is 1. The next is a screw. A screw has a mechanical advantage with, with a comparatively small effort to a very large resistance can be overcome. By thrusting a screw into wood, a small effort force is applied through a large distance. The screw does not only take less force, but it holds things securely in place. The threads on a screw produces friction as it is being twisted with the object. This friction holds the screw in place. Next is a wedge. A wedge is a simple machine which is made up of two inclined planes, fastened back to back to produce a sharp pointed edge. The sharp edge is used to cut objects. Examples are scissors, pins, chisel, and plane, axe, and so. so. The next is a wheel in axle. When you use a wheel in axle, you exert a smaller force over a longer distance. This machine exerts a greater resistance over a shorter distance. The longer the wheel, the longer the distance you must move, but the smaller the effort force you need to exert. Some applications of the wheel in axle are the doorknob steering wheels of cars in ships wind glass grinders in wheels of bicycles we will go now to activity one in what's more take note please be careful in using these simple machines parent guardian should guide the learner Direction. Read and answer the following questions correctly. Examine a can opener. Manipulate how it works or how it can open a tin can. Number one. Describe how it works. opener contains for simple machines. Number one, a witch found on the cutter. Number two, lever. It is a handle. Number three, a screw. A device that holds the can opener together. And number four, wheel in axle. Attaches the cutter to the opener. Next question. What kind of a simple machine is this? The answer is class 2 liver or the second class liver. Inside the box, draw and label the main parts of the simple machine. Be sure to identify the falcon, resistance, and effort. Handle is the effort. This one is the resistance. Here this one is the falcon. We will go now with activity 2. You are going to choose the letter of the correct answer in right before the number. Number 1. 
what does a screw do? The answer is A. Multiplies speed B. Multiplies effort C. Multiplies direction D. Changes the place The answer is D. Number 2. How does a wheel in axle helps to do work? A. Multiplies effort. B. Multiplies speed. C. Changes the object. D. Changes direction. The answer is A. Number 3. How a, dis a disabled person using a second floor of a building? A. Use the ramp. B. Use the pulley. C. Climb the building. D. Use the escalator. The answer is D. Number 4 question. A load of 400 grams is lifted by a block and tackle pulley having four strings. How much effort is exerted to lift the load? A. 50 grams. B. 100 grams. C. 200 grams. D. 25 grams the, the answer is C. Number 5 question. Which of these are cutting tools? A. Knives B. Nails C. Needles D. Pins The answer is A. We will go now with the assessment. Here are some pictures of simple machines. Identify each kind in uses. First picture, fork and spoon, used to take up food when eating. The next picture is the needle and thread, used to sew torn clones. And number three picture, hammer and nail, used to nail nails. We will go to num letter B. Below are pictures of simple machines. Identify each kind. Here are the answers. Number one picture is a shovel. Number two picture, wheel in axle. Number three, paper clip. And number four picture is a bread tongue.
We will go now with what I can do. Look at the pictures. Identify the simple machine and give the uses. Related answers is accepted. Number one is a can opener, used to open a tin can. Number two, it is a ramp, used by a person with wheelchair. Number three, picture nut cracker, to crack the shell of a nut. Number four picture is a faucet. It is to hold back water when water will turn off and regulate water to flow when turned. And uh, number five picture is a pulley. It is used to move objects upward or downward. We will go now with the post assessment. Direction. Choose the letter of the correct answer in right before the number in the blank provided for. Number one question. Why simple machines are very important in our daily life? A. Because they can be found anywhere in the house. B. Because you can buy them easily in the hardware stores. C. Because nowadays, simple machines are less expensive. D. Because simple machines can increase or multiply force and speed. The answer is D. Number 2. Question. It is used to lift water from a well. A. Wood screw. B. Bread tong. C. Claw hammer. D. Wine glass. The answer is D. Number 3. Question. It is used to raise heavy objects like cars. A. Jack B. Slide C. Crowbar D. Lever The answer is A. Number 4. Question. These are examples of wages. Which one? A. Axe, knife, and scissors. B. Ram, slide, stairs. C. Egg beater, tong, and spoon. D. Doorknob, bicycle, and wheel. The answer is A. Number 5 questions. What are you going to use if you slice an apple? A. Knife. B. Peeler. C. Scissors. D. Sharpener. The answer is A.
Congratulations! You have successfully done your lesson. Till next time again.